I'm not gonna try this again. <laughs> Elton thinks this is hysterical. This is chaotic. <laughs> I am currently a wee bit sick, but that is not gonna stop me from trying on these clothes. Cause if there's one thing that makes me energetic and happy in life, it's fashion, which I am not very fashionable right now. I am truly in my comfy, cozy, sick wear, but I'm gonna get out of this and put on hopefully some other comfy clothes because that's why I made this order, okay? This is an unsponsored, unpaid review of Halara, okay? Because we have all seen them peppering our TikTok feeds, our Instagram feeds. They have infiltrated YouTube as well. We've all seen the sponsored videos, the free gifted products. I paid for all of this with my own money. Thank you for the Black Friday sale uh, because I was able to pick up quite a few pieces. And honestly, you guys know, if there's one thing I prioritize in my life, it is comfort in my fashion, but ideally still looking like I'm not currently, you know? Like right now I'm fully in sweatpants. There's no denying it. But I like to feel like I'm in sweatpants, but not look it. That's my dream every single day. I've ignored everybody discussing Halara for long enough because I'm like, Molly, your expectations are too high. Your standards are too high. I've waited because I'm like, Molly, it's not gonna live up to your expectations. Like everybody's overhyping this. And I feel like one of my toxic traits is I have high expectations for clothes. My standards for the quality I'm expecting is always so high that when I do these reviews, I am always disappointed, you know? And so I'm like, how is this gonna go? But everybody talks about how comfy it is. And frankly, I'm gonna be so real with you right now. The real reason I want to try this is because I have been looking for fake jeans. Not even jeggings, I'm gonna be real, I'm looking for fully fake jeans. And Rag and Bone makes some that are like something like $300 for not even real jeans. And they look real, but they feel like sweatpants. But I can't justify, I can't justify that. And so I was looking at alternatives and Free People has some like pull on ones, like no button, no zip, no nothing, jeans. But they're like $70 and the problem is they're flared, which is so cute and that's the look I want. I want the flare. But we all know as a petite gal, that gets chopped right off when we go to get those hemmed. And I saw Mia Maples and Carrie Dayton both talk about the Halara magic fake jeans that are pull on just like the rag and bone and free people. They're flared and they came in petites. So most of what I got is pants. I, I feel like Lara is really known for like their dresses and skirts. I got a lot of pants because it is so rare to find petite fashion. And so really I want to do this because A, I needed to try these jeans because they were like $35 or something like that as compared to 380 and they have petites. So for my girls who are petite on a budget and prioritize comfort, this video is for you. Let's start with the reason we're here. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting hot. I'm sweat, I'm going between cold and hot. Classic. It's almost like I'm sick or something. Um, okay, so these are they. Their sizing is very interesting. One thing I appreciate is that you don't have to like click on the size guide. It literally will say like extra small dash zero to two, small dash four to six. Like they tell you. I might be getting the sizes wrong. Anyways, I got everything in the zero to two. Um, so that is what these are. And look how short they are. And flared, they've got the flare. I got this dark, it's a dark blue denim. Yep. Denim in quotes. So stretchy. They don't even have a button or zip. They have like the crisscross waistband, almost like a pair of leggings, but they do have like real pockets on the front and back. And I got this color because I think honestly, all the others were sold out. And I just desperately wanted this flared style. They do have these in other styles, like they have a wide leg jean. Those were all sold out or I would have also picked those up. I'm gonna be real. And they had a skinny jean. That's not really my vibe at this point, but they do have different styles. And they also have tall for my tall girls. And I believe they have some plus sizing. So we love the inclusivity. It's rare. Now, the big thing I must tell you is that these smelt so horrendously filled with chemicals like formaldehyde or something. Like I, Mia and Carrie did not mention that in their videos. So I don't know if it's just my pair or if theirs smelt and they didn't mention it, but I have a hard time believing that they wouldn't. It smelt like hard to keep in the house. We had to like, we put them outside, we washed them, didn't put a dent in it. 
We soaked them for an hour in vinegar. Overnight. Oh, we soaked them overnight in vinegar. Didn't put a dent in it. Then my mom soaked them in detergent and stain remover and then washed them again twice. They almost smell like nothing now, except Tide, but they do still smell at the waistband. We are so determined to get this smell out. Please tell me if you've ordered these, did yours have that too? Because it's horrendous and disappointing. These are everything I've ever wanted. So I'm like kind of willing to put up with it if we can get it out. Okay, I'm gonna try them on. Okay, I am back in my fake legging jean things and I'm obsessed. Mom, are these not so cute? They're so cute, the, the, the fit is amazing. Like The ugh. length is amazing, you're not losing your, your uh, flair at all. These are so like they're perfect. If I stand on here, will they be able to see me well? Yep. <laughs> Can you guys see the bottoms? Can they see them? Yeah, just you know, you're sinking a bit, but you could tell that they're. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm not gonna try this again. <laughs> Elton thinks this is hysterical. This is chaotic. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I want to show you how I want to style this because I know that not everybody like would want to wear jeans where the waistband looks so fake. And that's fine, like you just wear something baggy and oversized that covers it and literally nobody would ever know that these aren't actual jeans. So cute, right? Is this cute, mom? It's so, so cute. So cute. Yeah, it's perfect. Next, I'm gonna hit you with another banger. Overalls, comfy, flowy, overalls. I am so excited about these. These came in, I think, two colors, the black and like a peachy color. I don't have a pair of black overalls and we all know your girl loves overalls. I love a one piece. And this is like this waffle material that like everybody is raving about. They have these waffle pants that have been one of the most buzzed about things that they have. They do come in petites and talls. These did not, like I will have to get these hemmed, but that's how much I love overalls that I was like, mm, I'm gonna take the risk and get them anyways and I'll get them hemmed. Cause I'm very used to having to get my clothes hemmed because every short girl is. El even LT loves them. Actually, Elton loves everything I wear and everything I do because he's in love. Because he's in love. That's right. That's right. Whenever he gets like overcome with emotion towards me, I'm just like, it's okay. It's just love. It's love. Ooh, go get your toy. Okay. Now let's get back to the important stuff. These overalls are so cute. So they have three. Okay, so it has three buttons. I'm on the tightest because, you know, short but I love that it has a three button option. So if you're taller, these will still work. They're like nice and low on the sides, but not too low. That's what the back looks like. I love all the details. Like it has a little pocket in the front and then these two pockets right here and all of this like pleating is so nice. There's a little bum pocket on the one side. They're nice and wide legged. Like these are so cute. Aren't they really cute? Adorable, I want them. We will be sharing. Yeah, I already know my mom's gonna be stealing these from me. So like, yes, a win. Very excited about these. I would highly recommend, if you love overalls and comfort, these are for you. But before I get to the next thing, I actually have to go to a live stream. I live stream on Patreon for an hour every single week, as well as have a bunch of other perks at the different tier levels. So I'm gonna go do my Patreon live and then I will be back to continue this, my Patreon's always linked below in case you're interested in joining. Okay, the live is done, I am back. I wore these the whole time. Honestly, so comfy, like I'm truly quite obsessed with these. The only thing I'll say is like when I hear the word waffle, I think of like long johns. I think of pajama robe. I think of that stretchy material. These are not that. So if that's what you were expecting, that's not what it is, but so comfy, obsessed. For me, this is way more cute than the pants but that's like a personal style choice. I wanna try on this outfit next, which is going to be what I wear on New Year's. Okay, so these glitter pants were in the like new in section and I'm sure they're in for the holiday season. They're very Christmassy, they're very New Year's-y. They had the black with silver, which is what I got, and then the black with blue, which is not what I got. Uh, I think they're really cute. They were the last thing I added to cart. I was like ready to check out and then I, was like glitter pants, add to cart. And then I placed the order and I was like, Molly, why did you do that? And then I got the order and I was like, good job, Molly. Like, I think these are really cute. What do you think, mom? I love them, uh, I think they're great. Like once we get the, the length right and- Yeah, well, they, they have ties. Oh, they- So you can sit- Are you kidding? Yeah. That's 
perfect. Yeah, so you can either have them like wide legged and not cinch them, or you can like pull them in. That's great. So you don't have to spend money on no. alterations. So I don't have to get them tailored. Yeah, I think they're great, honestly. So this New Year's, like, I'm just gonna be hanging out with my mom, my dad, and my boyfriend in Palm Springs. Um, just like drinking some champagne on the couch and eating hors d'oeuvres. So I want us to like look cute and feel festive in glitter, but these are like they're like harem pants. They're like harem pants. It's like you're in sweatpants, but you look cute, which I feel like is like the vibe of Halara. How much were they? Like 25 bucks. Jeez. Can't they're go wrong. so comfortable. Aren't they cute with the tie? I love them. They're and like the only thing I don't like is this. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I would agree on that. Like, this is unnecessary. Could you, could you just cut it off? I think I'm gonna. Oh, you can't pull it out. Shoot. It's like stitched into the back. I'm sure there's a way we can get it out. Or you can just cut them. Basically, if you can't see, it's like a string at the yeah, waist, which takes away. Yeah, time. I would just cut them. And because it's elasticated, you don't need it. No. So I would just- I find those things annoying. If we pull it all the way out and then chop, Yeah. you won't even see it. No, no, th that'll be great. But I really love these. Yeah, They're so silky and comfy. Yeah, we go. Okay, this top has been my absolute obsession. I have two of the white ones and I have one in black. This is from Amazon. It's the brand Crazy Yoga. I'll link it below. I pretty much wear it every single day. It is my absolute favorite basic ever. You have some red lipstick on it and that's okay. <laughs> I was pulling it over my face and I got red lipstick on it. So ignore that. But I'm completely obsessed with these. They have all different styles. The quality of these is impeccable. So I ordered this top to compare. This top is, I think, either slightly cheaper or right around the same price. These are $38 on Amazon, worth every penny, worth every penny. These are like, to me, a dupe for like Lululemon, Aritzia, Skims, cheaper, but same quality. Like crazy yoga is my new obsession. Um, and I won't go back. I won't go back to Aritzia or to Lulu for basics, only crazy yoga for me. So I was like, let's see if this is a dupe of the crazy yoga ones. I'm gonna try it on for you and we'll see. Okay, so this top is what I pictured wearing these pants with on New Year's. Casual, stylish. It's like a black baby crop tee with like this cute little crisscross detail. I really like that. The crazy yoga ones don't have that crisscross detail. And I do think it's cute. Like it adds a little- It's so cute. Something, something. I would say I prefer the crazy yoga ones only because they're double lined and I'm a braless girl. So the double lined makes you feel like a little bit more held in and secure. However, can't I will through. still wear this. Yeah, you can't see through. No, this is a great basic. I will still wear this. I think if you have the few extra dollars to spend and you were trying to pick between this one or the crazy yoga one, I would recommend the crazy yoga one. But if this was on like a better sale and you were already placing your order and you like the crisscross, you can't go wrong. I think it's really cute. Super wearable. So far, this has been a win, but I will say I think is now is when we're gonna begin to go downhill. We've got cords in petites, okay? Cords, I love cords. These to me feel like they look cheap. A bit dated, style, it's dated. They're but just, you know, they might, for some people going to work, you know. I don't know, there's just something that isn't hitting right for me with these. I got the brown color. I like that they're elastic in the back because I'm all about the comfort. And I love that they came in a petite's length. I would say, in my opinion, all of the Halara clothing feels like it's the price you're paying. That's not a bad thing. You guys know me, I'm a stickler for quality. And what bugs me is when companies are overcharging for the quality they're providing. Like, I think Skims is overpriced. That's my personal opinion. I know a lot of people love Skims. Maybe I need to give it another try. I think they're overcharging. I don't personally like like the Fabletics and Fenty business models. It feels very mlm -y. it's just not my thing. I know some people love that business model and that's great, it's just not for me. So like, for me, a lot of those kind of companies, I'm like, you're overcharging for what it is. This, I'm like, this feels like they cost 30 bucks and that's what they cost. So I'm not mad at a company who's charging the reasonable price for the quality they're providing. To me, it matches. So let's put these on and see. I could literally pull these on like I didn't even have to undo the button zip. That's my dream. That is my dream world. They are, here, the tag is in my butt, there we go. They're like, you know, loose, which I'm all about. I'm all about a loose pant. I don't hate them. I won't keep them. I'm gonna donate these to a women's shelter. 
because I think somebody will love them and get a lot more use out of them than I will. I think in my opinion, you could, if you really love corduroy pants like I do, you could probably find a better quality pair at a thrift store for a similar or lesser price that are gonna like look more expensive and feel more expensive and probably even last longer. So that would be my recommendation is like the corduroy pants, maybe skip them unless you're looking at these on me and you're like, no, those are it. But I think especially as a petite girl, you could probably get them cheaper at a thrift store for higher quality and then get them hemmed and they'd still be less than these cost. Those are my thoughts. What do you think, Neve? Yeah, I, I, I reflect your thoughts. I don't think, you know, for you, because the closet's is small here, keeping them is worth it. No, it's not worth it. Next. Okay, now these are not the waffle pants that everybody's talking about, but I think they are. Like, I don't know if they sent me the wrong pant or what, but I'm like, I think it is a waffle. It is. Yeah. It is the waffle material. Yeah. Like, I think something went wrong in my order. It is the color I ordered, which is like a peachy pinky color. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna put them on. As far as the petites go, these are long, right? Yeah, they're long. Like, uh, this is why I think they messed up my order. I think oh. I think they sent me like the regular length waffle pant yeah. instead of the petites. I don't yeah. know. What are they? Does, it, Let's see. does the tag say anything? I would say... That's really interesting. Like the other petites hit me at the right length compared to these. They're a nice little pant though, you know, like- They are. If they were taken up and everything. Yeah. I think you should try them on. Yeah, I will. Cause I think these would look really nice on you. Yeah, they're very nice. Like and the shape and everything. Yeah, I like the style. They're comfortable. Yeah, I like them. Honestly, color isn't bad. Yeah, they're nice. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh, I got one hideous thing. Let me show you. This is so ugly. I mean, in my opinion. Somebody else might like it. I think it's, maybe I just think it's hideous because the quality's really bad on this one. Halara will be hit and miss. Do you know what I'm saying? Would you agree? I do. Like, I, I do, think it's yeah. the type of place, like you're gonna get some pieces where you're like, oh my God, yes, this is it. And then you're gonna get other pieces and you're like, what? Mm -hmm. No, no. This is terrible quality. Terrible, mm -hmm. terrible quality. This is the only thing that I'm like, no, this is truly bad. I will not be keeping this. It is not at all what I expected. The material, this this is the only other thing that also smelt. Yeah, it doesn't, it didn't smell nearly as bad as the jeans, but it does, this is the only other thing that I took it out of the package and I was like, that smells like chemicals. And I don't really want to put that on my skin. I'm not, I'm honestly not gonna bother trying it on. It's just a black cropped hoodie with like some mesh detailing. Feels like a Halloween costume. Like that's how cheap. Final item, I'm in my blue and green era. So it's this green dress, it's green, right? Yes, Okay. a bottle green. I really wanted this material to be more like the crazy yoga butter luxe is material. Is it stretchy? It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's stretchy, spandexy. Mm -hmm. I really wanted it to be a bit more like thick though, like a bit thicker, a bit more like suck you in, mm -hmm. like um, compressive maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. I wanted it to feel like the butter luxe material, like my favorite tops that I've been wearing, but it's thinner than that. But it might look nice on. I, I like the shape of it. I like the idea. So let's put it on. Here we are. The dress, the one and only dress that I got. Now I know they're known for their like sporty athletic dresses with the shorts built in. I honestly just knew I wasn't gonna wear that. So I was like, this I might actually wear if it looked good. It isn't petites um, and it is long on me. I don't think I'd bother getting it taken up though. I, I bought this to wear with, let me, let me grab them. I'll be back. Okay, these. I thought maybe there was a world in which. I think they'd be super cute. These would look cute. Yeah. Let me put them on. We're the stylists, okay? Kind of make it like cool and casual, you know? Um, these are my Vans that I showed in this whole video here. Since I haven't found a pair of Converse that I like to replace my yellow ones yet, which you, you won't hear me shut up about until I do. But these are like a forest green high top Vans with colorful daisy flowers like along the sole and they're just so fun. I think it's so cute. Cute together maybe? Yeah. The dress fits pretty well. I would say I wouldn't mind if it was a bit smaller up here, but I'm also short torsoed. So if I was a bit taller than it would be, um, but I think it still works fine. I like the detail of like the cutout and the little knot, the ruching. Like I think it's super cute. I think it's nice. Really and nice. they have lots of nice colors, different styles. Overall, honestly, this is better than I expected. Really? Yeah. What do you think? Hang on to that. Hang on to it. That's great. Let me know thoughts. You might get a little denim jacket over it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Baba, you like? You like it? Oh, he says, I love it. I love you. Yeah, it's like do. All right. Well, overall, honestly, if you've been curious about Halara and you've been like, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Elton John, calm yourself. Okay, overall, my thoughts are that if you've been considering ordering from Halara, but you've been like iffy, I think it's worth giving it a shot. Especially if you are petite or tall and you struggle to find things that fit you in the leg length, this could be a good option for you. I think it's affordable. The quality fits the price point they're charging. I'm in. I think it's a good option. And the stuff is comfy, and that's really what every brand should prioritize. So, there you have it. Until next time, you can click over here to hear about the Hidden Disability Sunflower. Ooh, very interesting. Or over here to see another one of my way more ruthless fashion reviews. Okay, bye.